So I just found my first queen ant ever. I was extremely lucky to find this. Uh, let me show you how I went about this. Okay, so why do I have a queen ant in my hands anyway? So a couple of weeks ago, I got in touch, or a company got in touch with me that sent me an ant farm because they liked some of my content that I did on TikTok and social media. And they asked me to do a video for them and they would send me a free ant farm. And you know what? I like ant farms. I had one when I was a kid. Very nostalgic to me. Um, I haven't had one since I was a kid and I'm still a big kid. So I was like, well, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this video for you. And um, then I realized, well, wait. So I need to get an ant. I need to get some ants. And I didn't want to just buy them online. Um, I wanted to see if I can find a queen ant in the wild, which is where I went for this walk um, here in Maryland. Looks like someone's uh, trying to make something out here. Strange. So I'm not gonna lie, that gave me some Blair Witch Project vibes right there, but I was good. Um, yeah, the thing is, you can't just have an ant farm with just ants. You need to have a queen ant. And that was my mission today. I was digging around in here and I, I think I found a queen ant, which is so random. Um, I think it's a queen ant. I think I have a queen ant. I was digging around in here and um, I came across an ant that's way bigger than any other one. So this could be, this could be cool. Man, I can't explain how lucky that is. I looked the entire forest and I didn't even see ants. Isn't that crazy? I didn't even see any ants. So to be able to have a queen, it's gonna be a cool video. So I'm a little excited for this. Um, it's been years since I've actually had one of these and there is something fascinating about watching the development of a creature, an insect, a life form, do its thing in nature. Um, to be able to bring it into your home and document it and film whatever you can film over time to study what happens like from the queen laying eggs to how they hatch, um, you know, how they play their own vital roles in the little colony is something that has always, you know, fascinated my mind. I think what I'll do is once I've filmed enough content with this, uh, you know, I want to have a couple of videos in the series. I want to have this like maybe 10 videos from beginning to end of the development of the colony and then I'll release them back into the same forest that I came from. Uh, I think that's just a good way, a good lesson for some people, you know, this is a fun hobby. I just don't think that this uh, castle is big enough for a, a colony, especially the carpenter ants. They have large colonies, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's so fun to learn, but I do think that they should have a larger space to roam. But with that being said, you know, who, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Maybe I actually link this up to another castle or I'll build my own castle with a, a tube link to it where they can go out and forage and, hey, maybe it turns into something that is a bigger project in the future. Now, you know, there's plenty of um, ant YouTube channels out there that do this professionally. Uh, this is not me. I'm not that. I am. This is going to be my first little experiment and um, I'm excited.
Now that Her Majesty has arrived in her new house, we're going to throw a housewarming party uh, just to get a little settled in and have it a good time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the festivities. I'll catch you on the next video.